Are you a carnivore? Every time you bite into a juicy steak, pork chop, or chicken wing, you're acting like one. Your doctor might tell you to cut back on your carnivorous activity and eat more fruits and vegetables. But that's because medical research indicates that we live longer and healthier if we eat less meat. And that's pretty good advice, considering that was God's design at creation. To both man and animals, God said that fruits and vegetables shall be for food. So how did meat get on the menu? And why would God create large, sharp teeth if they weren't supposed to eat meat? It actually wasn't until after the flood of Noah that God gave us permission to eat meat. And those sharp teeth? The fact is that these animals eat other food as well and use those teeth to break through the tough rinds of fruit or the hard shells of nuts. For instance, while we think of bears as predators when we camp, they're actually omnivores and can be quite content on a vegetarian diet. And don't forget that our cats and dogs have sharp teeth, just like lions and wolves. But the processed food we give them today is often made from corn, soybeans, and rice. So the next time you sit down for a steak dinner, don't forget to pile on the veggies for your health and to honor our Creator.